every day, brings along with it, new challenges, and unexpected issues. But when we commit our every day to God, He will take care of us. Do not start your day without the worker's prayer. Arise and shine, be blessed. Together, we are strong. Friday, this day is the day that we dedicate to make strong prayers on behalf of those who want to break free. The chains that might be binding them, the obstacles that they have been experiencing for the longest while. Friday is the day that we determine that these chains must be broken and those obstacles must be removed. We call upon the name of the Most High God, the Almighty, and we ask Him to release His power from heaven above and bring us answers. Answers that He brought to the life of this person whose testimony we are going to watch right now because he made this person to become a possessor. Hi, my name is Sheldon Philip, and I'm a member of the Universal Church. Before coming to the Universal Church, my life was in a mess financially, and I was struggling to make payments, I was struggling to have a savings. My life financially was not good at all. So, back before I started the Universal Church, I always had financial problems. I never had enough money, even though I was working. I never had enough money to last me through the month. I had a lot of credit cards issues and a lot of debts that I had as well. So all these debts were a burden on my pocket, you know, and I never had enough to make some of the, the minimum payments at times on the credit card. So due to this, you know, even though I was working, I had money coming in, you know, I wasn't able to make all the payments on the debts that I have, the credit cards that I had, you know. So that was one of my major issues financially. Even I had a car as well, and most of my money was being spent on the car, maintaining the car, making it look good, you know. So all of that added up to the debts that I had. So due to this, you know, I used to be struggling to make my payments at the end of the month and maintaining my life as well. As I said, I was gainfully employed. My job was paying well, but yet still I never had enough money for myself because of the debts that I had. You know, I had, as well, along with, had to pay for a car, I was paying credit card debts that I had racked up. Um, you know, and I was also trying to, you know, put money here, there to try and, you know, keep afloat. So these were, were most of the major issues that I had in my financial life, you know, and because of that, I wasn't helping out at home where I, where I was supposed to be doing. So my wife is the one who invited me to the church. She started on a Friday, which was Deliverance Friday. And I had dropped her off on that day and had made my way to pay some bills in Port of Spain. So after she came from the service, you know, she said she wanted to return. So we came Sunday for the 7 a.m. service. And that's when I came as well. 
And on that day, you know, I listened to the message and what was taught to me on that day is a lot more than what I had understood or what I was taught to me in the other church that I used to attend. You know, I understood about tithing, about offerings and putting the word of God into practice. And from that day, I started to come to church every day. You know, each day they have a service for a different purpose. You know, I started to attend for my financial life on Monday and continued with the chain of prayers that they have in the church. And through that practice and putting the word of God into practice, you know, I started to see changes in my financial life, especially when I first started tithing. You know, I understood what tithing was about. You know, today, my life has changed drastically since I began attending the Universal Church. Now I have taken possession of my financial life. I have also now proud owner of a business along with my wife a wrecking service business you know and that business has been prospering we have had that business this year now would be four years since we started that business and it has been growing ever since we I have also accomplished you know I've taken possession of another small business that I started as well um, auto servicing of motor vehicles and so on so that as well has also been prospering the greatest possession that i have right now is my spiritual life and since coming to the universal church i was also taught about my salvation and how important it is to have my salvation Everything changed in this person's life. Everything can also change in your life. Today, at 6 o'clock in the morning, in about, you know, 45 minutes from now, today, 6 o'clock, as well, 10 o'clock, as well, 12, 3, especially 5 p.m., last but not least, half past 6 in the evening, we are going to have this powerful day for you to be set free, for all chains to be broken, for you to be delivered from the influence of darkness in your life. We have said so, and I believe that God will bring it to pass. So now is the moment for the worker's prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of Jesus, time has come and now it is for you to fulfill your promises in the life of your people. Now it is time, my God, for you to answer this person. Those who are heading to their jobs, those who are arriving from their jobs, those who are going to their businesses, those who are going to seek for investors, those who are going to submit their paperwork, those who are going to seek for new, new suppliers, those of Father who are going to see to pay off their debts, my God, I ask you that you may open the doors for your people right now. That you may enable this person, my God, with what is required. So they may accomplish what they have set to be accomplished today. Yes, this Friday. Remove all obstacles, break all chains. Release your people, my God, and enable them to victory. Bless Trinidad and Tobago the authorities of our nation, my God, all those working to make this country, my Father, flourish, to make this country a success. I also pray for all the other nations that are joining us this morning and enable them to have victory. Bless the economy, the private and the public sector, the immigrants and the citizens. Enable, my Father, us all to see your light, bring healing upon our land, and honor our faith. With a blessing, we bless all those who now pray with us. And those who agree and believe, say, Amen. 
You are blessed indeed. God is with you. And he wants to open a tremendous door for you. A door of great opportunities. We are preparing ourselves for this coming Monday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, when you are going to be with us in our national headquarters, number 40 South Key, Port of Spain. And you will walk through the open door. God will open a great door for you, a door of tremendous opportunities because you are meant to be at the top, not at the bottom. Your ways are meant to be open, not closed. You are meant to have all you desire in your hands and lack absolutely nothing. Do you believe that? Join us and you will see. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together we are strong. Many people have been forced to enter through the gates of injustice. Plans were made for 2020 and it was all shattered. The unwanted took over. Misery, debts, failure, bankruptcy, property losses. But not anymore. The opening of the gates of righteousness, prosperity, success, promotion, salary increase, new business opportunities i will have all that i want for it is written open to me the gates of righteousness i will go through them and i will praise the lord no more delay it is now or now monday 5 p.m universal church number 40 south key port of spain also in all the universal churches countrywide